Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, hope you all are doing well. It is Brother Mikhail. I am here. Juma Mubarak. Juma just finished. I have something for you. As I was reading Surah Al Hud, I found something, an ayat that really stuck out to me. It's a few ayat. Now bear with me as I read it to you. I hope you all are having a wonderful Juma, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you with many blessings, his love, and Jannatul Fardal. Ameen. So here we go. This is starting from Ayat 116, okay, and it will go to Ayat 119. I'm reading in English. But alas, among those generations whom we destroyed before your time, there were no people endowed with any virtue, people who speak out against the spread of corruption on earth, except a few of them who we saved because of their righteousness, whereas those who were bent on evil doing only the pursued pleasures which corrupted their whole being and so lost themselves in sinning. For never would thy sustainer destroy a community for wrong beliefs alone so long as his people behave righteously towards one another. And had thy sustainer so willed, he could surely have made all mankind one single community, but he willed it otherwise, and so they continue to hold divergent views, all of them, save, save those upon whom thy sustainer has bestowed his grace, and to this end has he created them all. But as for those who refuse to avail themselves of divine guidance, that word of thy sustainer shall be fulfilled. Most certainly will I fill hell with invisible beings as well as with humans altogether. Subhanallah, ya Allah, ya Allah, alhamdulillah. So I want to go back to ayat 118. And had thy sustainer so willed, had Allah so willed, Allah could surely have made all mankind one single community, but he willed it otherwise. Now you think about that, right? How come Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't make us all the same? How come he didn't make... All of us proper Muslims that follow the deen to a hundred percent, with uh, you know that commit no haram, that do all halal, that do it the way that he said. Because in that case, think about it, we would be angels at that point. We'd have no free will, okay? We would have no, you know, intentions in our heart. It would just be based on doing. We would be like angels. We would be exactly like angels, okay? And this is the distinction, okay, between us that gives us moral and spiritual meaning between us and the angels, right? Think about it. If we all walked around and we all did the same, we did the same without free will or anything, we're almost like robots. Right? So Allah gave us free will, so we make that decision for our own, so he can test us and see which of us have the stronger deen, have the stronger iman. Which of us are ready for Jannatul Fardu? Which of us will rise to the highest of the heavens and which of us will go to Jahannam? I know for everything that I do, I wake up every day to pray Fajr, I wake up early, I pray Ishra, I pray Zohar, I pray Asr, I pray, I pray Maghrib, I pray Isha, and I try to pray them all in the Masjid whenever I can, always, inshallah ta'ala. It helps that I live in a masjid uh, above one, alhamdulillah. But uh, I just really wanted to read this because I found that ayat so, so interesting at the fact that, you know, I hear people say all the time, how come Allah, if that's the case, why didn't Allah make all of us Muslim? It's very simple why Allah didn't make all of us Muslim. Because he wanted us to have the choice. He wanted us to have free will and make the decision on our own. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. And I'm glad that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chose me as a revert from where I was, victim of the dunya, following the wrong path, and now Islam has saved my life, where I was literally at the depths of hell, at hell's door, and now I've never been better in my life. For the first time ever, my mom said, I believe Islam is saving my son, that I'm becoming a better person, that my character, my deen, my iman, that everything my deen and iman is showing her that Islam is saving me. Islam has made me a better person. Alhamdulillah. My brothers and sisters, I hope that ayat had spoke out to you as it spoke to me. And I wish you all the best. Juma Mubarak. Hope you all have a wonderful Juma with your family and friends. Inshallah ta'ala. I am Brother Mikhail. You have a wonderful day. I love you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Take care.